Before we get started, just a quick reminder that if you want to try my homemade organic deep tissue body butter, head over to my website. The link is in the description below. Hey guys, today I've got another anatomy painting video for you and this one is on understanding carpal tunnel. And there's lots of videos out there and there's lots of websites that explain carpal tunnel but I wanted to do it in my version because I'm a massage therapist, I see it a lot and here is my perspective. So as you can see I've already painted the radius and the ulna and now I'm painting the carpals and the carpals are kind of the essential part of what's going on with carpal tunnel because, you know, carpals, carpal tunnel. So the eight little rocky bones that are in your wrist are listed right here. This is from medial to lateral and proximal to distal in order. But there are four that come up on the edge and serve as an attachment point for the flexor retinaculum, which I'm gonna paint at the end. So the carpals themselves form the floor of the tunnel and that retinaculum forms the roof. And that roof attaches to four carpals very specifically, the trapezium, the scaphoid, the hamate, and the pisiform. Extending beyond the carpals, I'm now painting the metacarpals. Get it? Beyond, meta, carpals, carpals, metacarpals, beyond carpals, get it? And then beyond that are the meta metacarpals. No, I'm just kidding. These are the phalanges. So now that I've got the basic bone structure for the hand, the wrist, and the forearm down, take a minute to appreciate how cool your hand is. Give yourself a high five. Give yourself a pat on the back. No, give yourself a pat on the back of your hand. As I shade these bones, I want to recognize that I've painted 27 bones right here and they're all in this tiny little portion of your body. So it makes sense that you've got things that get jammed up and get inflamed and cause dysfunction. Um, and carpal tunnel is one of the main things that can happen in the wrist. And as you see in a minute, as I start to really highlight the carpal tunnel area, it's kind of like an hourglass or a Diablo, like those yo-yos that come down in the center and then go back out. It's kind of like that. All that stuff that's in your forearm has to squeeze through that tiny little wrist and then go out into your hand. And it has to work well, so sometimes it doesn't happen. Carpal tunnel can arise from genetic disorders or from health problems, but most commonly it's an overuse syndrome and of course that's where I come in. Here's the median nerve and as I'm painting this in yellow because I'm highly unoriginal and all anatomy nerves are painted in yellow. I should have done like orange or purple or I don't know. Anyway, here's the median nerve and it extends down from the brachial plexus, which is the bundle of nerves that come out of your spine around your neck. And they come down and feed information to the hand and bring information from the hand. And so your median nerve, it's pretty important. Of course, you've got other nerves that live in your hand, but this is the one affected in carpal tunnel, so this is the one I'm painting. Here's my brain telling my brachial plexus, telling my median nerve to act like I'm playing the piano, I guess. Ah, uh, this is when the muscles come in. So I'm painting four of the major muscles that come down on the flexor side of the hand because the median nerve is on the flexor side of the hand and gets influenced with flexion. Um, but I'm just going to list these four muscles right here that I'm painting. The one on my thumb side that I painted isn't really a part of the carpal tunnel issue, but comes in and really influences how the forearm moves, so I wanted to include it, plus I think it looks really pretty. As I highlight these tendons, I just want to point out that these muscles of the forearm and the wrist and the hand are way more intricate than I'm painting right here. And the main ones that I'm painting really do slide under that flexor retinaculum and create that issue when these tendons become inflamed. That's kind of the big picture. But there's more that slide under here, there's more vessels that slide under here, and these extend out and don't just attach at the base of the metacarpals, they also extend beyond into the fingers and influence what your beautiful hand and wrist does. And now for the icing on the cake. Here is the flexor retinaculum, and it's a ligamentous structure and attaches to those carpals like I was talking about before, and really creates the roof of the tunnel. So if you can see it, the base of the tunnel is the actual bones, and all of these vessels and tendons slide through that tunnel, and that retinaculum acts like a really tight elastic ceiling, holding it all in. And for your added entertainment, I've extended these tendons beyond. These two are of the flexor digitorum superficialis and the flexor digitorum profundus. I am so smart. Mm -hmm. 
As a massage therapist, it makes my skin crawl when people tell me they've had surgery for carpal tunnel syndrome. It is treatable through massage, it is treatable through other holistic means, through ice, through essential oils, through rest, through hydration, through nutrition, and understanding what carpal tunnel syndrome really is can help you be a better therapist and help you have success with your clients before you dive under the knife. Your body is incredibly smart and it's telling you something and all you need to do is listen to it. So if you understand what your body is and you listen to what your body is telling you, you are on the path to empowerment and you're on the path to having awesome hands. Thanks for watching you guys. Thanks for all of your amazing feedback and comments. I love your love. I love you back. Click the link below if you want to check out how to work carpal tunnel and click the link below if you want to check out my website and order some of my homemade deep tissue body butter, which I swear by, but check it out for yourself. Click the thumbs up if you like it, click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already, and I'll see you next time.